I need to try and outrun them. Bloody see. Oh, oh, bloody hell. Hello everyone. Welcome to this YouTube video. My name is Josh. Such a formal intro. Hope everyone's doing good and safe and well. So, I'm here at Hoy Lake Beach in the beautiful Wirral area. It's a little bit of photography. We've had absolutely beautiful weather in the UK, which is very surprising. Um, but beautiful weather, last couple of weeks. And uh, really wanted to get out and shoot a lovely sunset photo. Now here, Hoy Lake, as you can see, you've got this beautiful wind farm. Well, I say beautiful wind farm, it's a wind farm. As I was biking past it the other day, I've got a little vision in my head of uh, pink skies, fluffy, fluffy pink clouds or golden skies and beautiful sunset. I think the sun is going to dip right behind that. So yeah, I wanted to come back and take that photo. Um, while I'm here, I've already got creative ideas for some more photos as well, which we'll share with you in a sec. Before we get started though, I just want to share a top tip with you guys. Tip of the day. Tip of the day. Tip of the day. Always arrive at your location with plenty of time. I've done it so many times before in the past where I would arrive at my location, literally, say if I'm doing a sunset shoot, I'd arrive at sunset, I'd rush around trying to find a composition. Total nightmare, mate. Total nightmare. Um, wouldn't have time. Photo wouldn't end up great because can plan it. Video wouldn't be good. Only get one image. What's the point? So, today, sunset's about half nine. I've arrived at my location half past seven. That gives me plenty of time to scope out different opportunities, create different photographs, get more than photographs, and create this video as well. Uh, let's get into the photography, shall we? First picture, as you've seen, we're at the beach, but to be honest, it looks like an absolute desert. The sea, gone just long gone over there looks really barren um nothing in sight so i thought why not let's do a cheeky self-portrait shall we which i'm not really experienced that i've never really done one before so it's going to be a bit of a bit of a mission also the light i've only got natural light the sunlight is coming as you can see on my face this way now i want to face this way to get that background so i might have to do that and create like half and half shadow can you see the shadow on my face there so yeah that's the plan let's set this self-portrait up God, I did not notice this coming, approaching really, really quickly. Oh shit, shit, shit. It's literally just missed me. Just missed. But look at it, it's loads coming. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I feel like I'm being chased by the sea. Like, it literally, look, just planes for, I don't know quite what's happened there, but it's, it's almost like someone's just opened up a floodgate and the sea is just flooding in from like, well, from just from nowhere really. I've never seen anything quite like it before. It's just flooding in. Oh shit, now I'm gonna have to outrun this one. It's quite cool though. Would actually make a sick photo. get photos absolutely soaked mate well this has been very eventful my feet are soaking I was literally just standing in the sea but I think I've got some pretty nice photos and the sky is incredible right now absolutely incredible haven't got much video footage I'm not gonna lie cause I mean folks it was it was just crazy it was like um 
it was like one minute I was just chilled, complete barren land, taking, uh, doing myself portraits, thinking I had all the time in the world. And then the next minute I just see the bloody sea coming towards me from a completely different angle that I wasn't expecting. And, and yeah, and then within, mo within like 20 minutes, it was literally covered and I had to get back. So it's very reactive photography. Uh, which is what I love about it, to be fair. You never know what's going to happen. And just by going out today, you know, I didn't know that was going to happen. But I came out, did it, and hopefully I've got some nice shots. was kind of annoying because the sun's actually dipped down now behind the clouds um, so I'm not going to get that beautiful sunset shot that I wanted where the sun dipped right behind the wind farm but if the skies turn pink pretty decent so that's what, what we're waiting around for I'm, I was going to go take some pictures of the boats uh, up in the marina park but I don't see the point because it's a long walk and the sun's not out anymore uh, I should have done that a lot earlier and I failed. It's got two wrapped up in um, two wrapped up in what I was doing. So it's too late for that now. So I have to come back on another day. But but yeah, I'm just going to wait around about half hour, I would say, uh, until that perfect pink sky. If we get it, could be that the clouds are they're low cloud. So it might kind of spoil it, but we'll see. I've realised while I've been taking these photographs, I've not actually been explaining the kind of photographic settings that I've been using, which is pretty important you know if uh, I'm using these as like a little lesson or a little tutorial for, for you guys who want to do a bit more landscape photography um, I would say obviously I failed at doing that now so it's kind of pointless but just to keep it simple I've been using one of these bad boys now this is a neutral density filter or an ND filter and basically what it does is you pop it on the front of your camera like that and it darkens up the image. Now what this allows you to do, of course, is to lower your shutter speed. Now the lower your shutter speed, the more blur that you get in your image, uh, which basically means that you get lovely, smooth sea, almost all smooth mean anything. Um, but in this case, obviously, doing sea landscapes, it just smooths out, blends out that sea, so you get a really nice kind of atmospheric look. Um, and obviously if there's something still in the image, that will remain still and in focus while everything else around it blows out. So that's how I've been getting that effect. I'll go into more detail in another video, but I just thought I would let you know. Got the awesome white sand, um, which is pretty cool, but I'm probably not going to use it. Because the main focus right now is the colour in the sky. Now unfortunately the sun has dipped and there is a really low cloud, but the pink tones are still coming through. So I'm going to find some of that grass, for instance grass is growing in the sea, like I do not know why. But I'm going to use that to my advantage to take, uh, to have that in, uh, in focus and then have the sea kind of blurred out, hopefully pinkish colours, so I'm going to get that image now. I do for a video. Just to let you know, camera settings, um, once the empty filter's on, I'm going to shoot at about, uh, well, as, as shutter speed wise, I'm going to shoot as low as I can get. Um, so I'm thinking hopefully around a 10 second, 15 second exposure, I might be lucky enough to get about a 15, 20 second. Um, I am obviously using the ND stop so I can get that low shutter speed. ISO of course I've 100 um, and F stop at the moment I'm on about an 11. I'm hoping to bring that up to an 8 just so I can get the uh, kind of the wind farm a little bit more in focus and have the rest of it uh, have a little bit more bokeh for the sea and the sky. So that's the settings. Feet 
drenched, mate. Absolutely drenched. But it's been worth it, you know? What an absolutely beautiful scene. That is it. You've seen the final shot. Quite happy with it. I've taken loads, like, so I'll probably only use one. But what an evening. I mean, even the photos don't come out great. So peaceful. I'm literally standing in the sea. Like, you don't get to say that often, do you? Well, you do if you're on holiday or go to the sea, but which you can do at any time in your life. But yeah, it's getting a bit nippy now. Um, so I'm going to sign off here. Hope you love the photos. Hope you learned something new today. We made it happen. Um, but yeah, most important thing, get here early, because if I had got here early, got here now, I'd have missed all them opportunities from beforehand. So that's the tip of the day. Hope you have a great day. If you have enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up down below. Drop me a little comment, some feedback or anything. Video's not perfect, I know, but we'll get there. And yeah, give us a, uh, if, you, if you want to see more of these kind of videos, then subscribe to the channel by clicking the thing down below. Click the little bell icon, keep you up to date and notified. But I'm going to sign off. It's been a pleasure. See you in the next one.